everybody! Welcome to this episode of The Darkest Dungeon. And we are currently in a good spot financially and in an interesting spot uh, in terms of what we want to do next. Our cove still has no bosses beat, so we can stand to level it up. Our ruins, our warrens, and our wield are all way ahead of it. Um, our courtyard, courtyard? Courtyard could also stand to be improved a little bit as well. Um, does it have any good rewards? It does not. So it looks like this is going to be a cove mission because busts are good, and busts are great, or busts are something I appreciate. Hey! Um, but we could also do a Warren's mission. Let's see what else we got here. Portraits. You know. You know, I think that that makes the most sense. Let's go to the Warren's. So for the Warren's, we're going to need people that can bleed. Lucy, what's your thing here? 50 debuff resist. It's, it's a little it's a little, little rough, I'm not going to lie to you, but uh, we can deal with it. Perry. Oh my god, Perry, you beautiful man uh we're not bringing you though we don't need to and there's nothing to it um the other option is that we can do one of these veteran missions because we have enough people to go on a veteran mission now and that might not be a bad move because it'd be good to start taking out some more of the courtyard before it becomes problematic so uh what do we have for our courtyard mission well for our veteran missions we got a lot of long ones those are always stressful the chances are uh big rewards big chance to get shit fucked up though and i'm not um 25% damage versus the fanatic specifically? Ha Pardon? Let's see, and this is a crusader thing. Uh, what do we get here? You know what, we haven't done a long mission in the history of this let's play. 12 crests, 11,000 gold. A really interesting looking trinket that can go on pretty much anywhere. Let's, let's do this. So, with that in mind, we need to bring some pretty kitted out veterans. And you know what? Vetra Poe's on that list. Look at the damage she does. Dud hitter. I mean, it's not great, but like, you know, it'll, it'll do. Um, we're also going to want somebody that can heal over the course of this mission. Where's Corsi? Corsi, hi. You literally have like a million problems, don't you? Yeah, you do. Um, Crimson Course has been like, Curse has been like sort of settled, but ugh. How about Simnel? Yeah, you're a runes explorer. That could be really, really good. You know, let's bring uh, let's bring Simnel here. Uh, he's mobile. He's capable. Paris only works in the first two rows, but you know has a chance of doing some decent work here. The main issue is that he bleeds, and the runes don't do well to bleed. So it might be a good idea to just avoid that for now. Instead, what would happen if we brought Caddy, who hits like a truck in these situations? Where'd Caddy go? Caddy, hey there, buddy. Look at that. Hits like a truck in these situations. Is a ruins tactician, so he hits even harder. Uh, so bring him, and we can like kit him out so that way he can hit from the back as well. And then uh, finally, we can get Sammy Boy in here, and Sam is just Sam hits like a truck, right? You're, you're, you're well put together. Wasting sickness is not an ideal thing. But you know what? We can deal with it. That's that's fine. So, um, I just realized. Wasting sickness plus crimson curse equals bad day. I'm uh, not sure how I feel about that. Ugh, who else could we bring instead? Like, who else do we have? Talbot, but only sort of. Um, Talbot, buddy, please tell me you got something going on for these ruins here precise striker you don't have anything very bad against it either but you know what believe it or not i think that talbot's okay here pit and pendulum that actually seems pretty sweet so that's what we're gonna do um not only does it sound cool but the added benefit here is that i mean we can if we stun somebody with caddy he can kill it if we mark somebody with our uh, occultist he can kill it um and if he needs to, he can mark it, so that way she can do more damage with a thrown dagger. That might actually be better for us than having a pick to the face in a lot of these cases. The extra damage is huge. So is the extra accuracy. You know, that's 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 not a bad move at all. Um, we've got options. Plus, if we need to, we can change her up to Blight. We can, uh, like, again, we got lots of stuns. This is an okay setup. Now, let's go ahead and just quickly make sure that everybody who is in said setup, let's sort by level, should put our party at the top, uh, is, like, set to go. Because this is a big mission. I like to make sure that everybody comes out of this one alive. It's important to keep in mind that that's uh, not a guarantee. Our guild is not upgraded enough to allow us any more skill upgrades. So, 
for the sake of this mission, we're going to go ahead and upgrade just a couple of abilities. He's already fully upgraded. Veteran is missing one upgrade here. And Simnel, buddy! Um, bring out the Damon's pull here. Okay, this should be fine. Now, as far as abilities go, uh, we can go ahead and set that up while we're in the mission, so don't worry about it too much. What I'd like to focus on right now is giving them each, like, one trinket so that they have room for more trinkets later. Having more damage here would be pretty sweet, so I'll, I'll do that. Uh, Talbot, buddy, it'd be ideal if you could just do the most damage. Like, so much damage. That would be ideal here. Unequip all trinkets. Let's try that again. Sort by rarity. There we go. That looks a little bit more like it. Um, if we give you Dismas' head, it's really stress heavy. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, you know what? Why don't we give you Dismas' head and the Book of Relaxation to kind of offset the plus bajillion stress and give you a little bit more accuracy, which will help you hit a little bit more often. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, Vets are upon. Baby, I, I'm not exactly positive about this whole HP thing, but let's let's just give you this so that way you kill stuff almost instantaneously. And then finally, our occultist. We have two of these. I did, we, <laughs> unless we have more than one occultist going on a mission, we don't need these. But you know what? Screw it. Bring it. And the hero's ring to offset the virtue chance issue. Yeah, it seems seems reasonable. And then give our crusader the trinket again. There we go. So, like I was saying, we're totally going to just, you know, completely give them only one each. So that way they can carry other trinkets with them. Yeah, that's not what happened at all. I feel sorry about that. My bad. With that in mind, I mean, screw it. Then just give Caddy, like, the tanking thing. Where is it? Plus 20 prop, plus 20 stress. I did that. Do we... Did you have to? You know what? No, screw it. Caddy's perfect. Caddy's a perfect man. Send me out again? Don't worry. That's exactly what we're doing. Uh, not to mention that Caddy's going to go ahead and pick up the Holy Lance. And you've got Demon's Pull already. That's fantastic. Weird Reconstruction. Very good. Sacrificial Stab. Not necessary since you're in the back. Um, Abyssal Artillery makes the most sense. Although, it might just make more sense to have a stun. smart man look I realize that half the time he's not gonna be doing anything but let's just go let's just go so for this one we've already got a holy water and a shovel for free not bad longer missions in the ruins I'd imagine we can get by on eight torches but just in case I'm gonna buy like another six uh, food just I don't trust myself <laughs> um, I don't want to bring too many resources because right now already we're actually quite high. Um, let's bring that down to 12. Uh, two, sho two more shovels, a skeleton key. We don't need to bring blood. No one's wasting in town, so it's not a problem. Um, let's bring two bandages, two medicinal herbs. I've, I actually have not gone on enough long missions to know what works and what doesn't. Um, two anti-venoms. Like, you'd think this would be enough? Because, like, our inventory's full? So just, like, don't be... Don't be shy about using curios. It's a long mission. This is good. We're in for the long haul today, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Folks and people. But seriously, like, we're in for a long haul here. This is going to be a big mission. We're going to be given... We, we already have two torches. We're going to be camping twice. Pace out the holes of your and we have to explore 90% of rooms. Well, I'll tell you one room we're not fucking exploring. It's the one with literally nothing in it that's uh, completely out of the way. Now, for 90% of rooms, how many rooms do we have? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 of them. 90% of rooms in this particular case ends up being pretty close to, uh, I'd say 17 of them. So if I skip out this one, I can only skip out one other. And you know what? That's probably going to be this one on the side. That makes the most sense to me. We can go into this, uh, looper. It's like ding, 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 ding. That, that, that makes sense to me. So there's, ah, yeah, fuck you. 
until the very end. Like, if we are, like, Sterling, and we see that thing a second time, sign me up. But, uh, we have to be, like, off the chizane. Now, Bone Spearman. We might be able to kill this in one hit. We did. Good times. You've bled on my best coat. She's a skeleton. How? Quarrel. Now, keep in mind, this is a veteran mission, so this is going to be a tough one regardless. We have to be very careful about how we want to do this one. Um, if we mark this target, he's guaranteed to die. If we mark this target, it's not guaranteed to get killed. Um, he will likely go last. What does this one do? Does it, reduce, it reduces his dodge. You know what? Let's just guarantee a kill. Um, killing a marked target can only happen in the first two rows, so let's guarantee a kill on this Joker. His dodge has been reduced. Collect the bounty. Yep. Good kill as far as I'm concerned. And you can stun this jackass. Please? Yeah! <laughs> Alright. So, good first turn. Quarrel Man's gonna not go next, hilariously enough. And we only have the options to stun. I, I think I should replace Toxin Trickery with something now that I think about it. But you know what? Don't worry about it. If this stuns again, that would be hilarious. If it doesn't, whatever. No big deal. Okay, pull him forward. That's gonna waste his turn. And get rid of the corpse, which is nice. Bayonet jab? Thank you. It's only five damage. It's not a big deal. Now, we do not have a winning situation here. If we mark this guy for death, it reduces his prot, which is nice. But past that, does very little. Might as well give it a whirl. It does reduce his prot, which is nice. Axe blade, please miss. Uh, you know, sometimes, sometimes things come together very well. Chopping him for 12 is not a bad move. He's now within kill distance. Hopefully we can do that this turn. Yeah, there's a high chance that Throne Dagger can do it. So let's give it a whirl. Nice. Give them no Which then brings us to this jackass. Um, We can't really mark him again. We can reduce his dodge, but it doesn't really do all that much. I'd rather like attempt a weird reconstruction and hopefully not bleed all over their coats. Nice. Uh, since he's marked, Collect Bounty should work. And it did! With a plum, I might add. That's a lot of damage. We can try stunning him again, but I think just attempting a kill here is best idea. It was. Get a lot of loot. We're going to be throwing out a lot of loot at the rate this is going, by the way. If that's the kind of, uh... that's the kind of room we're keeping on bumping into. It's 100% disarm for her, so we're just going to... Uh, 90% in a stress reduction here would be nice. So we're going to go ahead and give it to our bounty hunter, despite the risk. Should be okay. There should be nothing else in this hallway, which is nice. Now... Here's the here's the question. Do we go for the exploration off full to the side here? Like we're going this way regardless, but oh, this might determine whether or not we do that. Um Hmm. I kind of want to avoid combat for as long as possible, but while it's still early on in the run, it's advisable to at least give it a whirl. Open up the crate. It's empty. That's fine. Not a big deal. Let's pop another one. Keep it bright torchlight for now, so that way we can use up that uh, that one torch row pretty early on. Shadow fade here makes some sense. Can stun that guy. Hopefully he doesn't go before a bounty hunter does. Uh, yeah, we can pull him forward. Nice crit is very good to have early on, although the resist on the move sucks. Finish him should give. He has a good chance of killing him. Actually, it was a huge chance of killing him. And by huge chance, I mean slim, but we got a nice crit, so I'll take it. Bump in the night. Yeah, good try, bud. <laughs> Bayonet jab. Also feels good. Good dodge. Alright, you know, since it's his turn, let's just go ahead and increase our torch for free. Like, increasing his own torch light here is pretty nice. We can get a lunge and an easy kill. I don't see why not. Okay. Weird reconstruction. Or kill. Kill. Just get the kill. Don't be stupid. Be a smarty. Get the kill on their party. Um, which one does more damage base? Crit mod is plus 2%. Crit mod is plus 60%. Yeah, collect bounty does do more damage. So, nice work. There's some rubies in there I want. And I want it bad. In fact, I want it a lot more than the citrine, so... Take the loot. Okay, um... Hmm. Okay, we need to rethink this. Specifically, your skills don't make sense with what you're doing right now. I like both of these. Come hither is a neat idea, but we're going to be using it on the other guy more often than not anyway. Um... What 
works. Like, uppercut could be interesting, so let's give that a shot. Let's set everybody's back to their default party order again, and then uh, continue forward here. Now, do we get another scout? Like, right now, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, there's just a couple little things that are just a little bit off. Just a little bit off. Compared to what I'd like. We don't need Toxin Trickery in this case. There's not a lot of bleed or a lot of blight going around. Um, it, considering the amount of prot options... Poison darts is a little bit hard to... Like, I was thinking, like, you know, considering the amount of prod options, we could go poison darts. But as good as it is, like, we're not in the third row for very long. We tend to lunge, like, first thing to get as much damage and as much of a chance to crit as possible. Like, it's a one in five chance that we crit off of this thing and kill something almost instantly. Um, You know what? Let's keep it this way for now. Our preferred target is still like the second like the second rank character here, but that's probably fine. Um, and let's check out this room. Uh, oh, it's a shitty time for a trap, please. Okay, so it's damage and stress. Decent amount of stress too. Um, that's not good. But you, you know, you're gonna deal with traps in these situations anyway, and that's that's understandable. Like if you're gonna create a dungeon. Where they're surprised, sometimes you get trapped, sometimes you trap them. It's a it's a crazy world. Ah, oh, he's so close to dying. If we can get him early, he's like that would be huge. Um I think I want to guarantee the kill on him. Good. That's worth it as far as I'm concerned. Now let's see if we can get this guy in the back as well. Um the only way to do it would be to get a finish him. There's no way for Caddy to get it done past that point. There is a chance we kill him, though. And we did! What a time to be alive. Alright, so now the trick is, do I want to stun? Or do I want a Bulwark of Faith to up our uh, our light a little bit? And mark him, so that way we can maybe heal him next turn instead. Let's give this a shot. I like the idea of trying to use Bulwark of Faith. Axe Blade, good dodge. I wasn't expecting a dodge, but I'll take it when it happens. Graveyard Slash, you dodged it. Good times. Now, our... Uh, there's a couple of different ways we can do this. If we mark this guy, we can kill him instantly. We can stun this guy afterwards. Maybe. Hmm. You know what I'm thinking. We can mark this guy, kill him, or stun him in like the first turn and just worry about this guy. This guy does damage though. The Bone Veterans don't not hurt. So you know what? Let's go ahead and get the kill on him. He's marked. He's been debuffed. He should be an easy kill at this point. Shadow Fade this... You know, this fair man here. Stun him. Collect the bounty on his face. Yeah! Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that was... That was okay. And then hit this guy for seven. It's not a huge amount of damage, but it, it'll do. Caddy is still doing fine. Um, at this stage, he's no longer... Okay, right. We didn't mark this guy at all. Uh, this would be a good time to actually pick him to the face. Because, like, pick to the face has a high chance of going off. And then smite him. Okay, easy, easy, easy fight. Um, now, if I remember... Um, you know, let's pop another torch. Bring another stack of gold. If I remember... Uh, hold on, what's 5 times 530, 575? Hold on. I know that most people don't whip out a calculator for their video games, but we're going to do that today. Times 5, because it's the biggest stack of gems you can have. Technically speaking, a stack of jade could go higher than a stack of gold. Uh, by about a hundred gold or so. However, a stack of gold is more likely to happen. So you know what? We're going to let that one slide. Um, this gives more armor. So I'm going to go ahead and give it to our, to our crusader here. Now he's got a bunch of prot and a bunch of dodge until camp. Like that's If he just bulwarks every beginning of fight, not only is that going to give us a bunch of extra torchlight, which is, again... Super nice for getting through a long mission where the reward is kind of the reason why we're doing this. But, um, you know, it, just, it guarantees that he's the one that... It doesn't guarantee anything, let's be honest. But it does help with the whole getting hit thing. Uh, we can use our holy water here. I don't remember what it does. I think it reduces stress. Who's the most stressed? Five? Six? Twelve? Eight? What you do? 
Oh, mom, mom, hold on a second. Mom, I, I love you. Can I call you later? Thank you. All right, so we got a bunch of tre. Oh my god, did we get a bunch of treasure? Um, geez, three rubies already. Like if we walked out of here right now, we wouldn't be breaking even. But I'd be damned if we weren't a little close. And this is surprising considering we're not even like at low light. We've been working on pretty high light the entire time. Red for the old gods. You're hitting the wrong, or you're trying to hit the wrong lady. I'd like you to stop. Okay, this hits man harder than not so let's give it a try on one of these jokers this guy just moved back so it's this guy i want to kill first if i can um i also want to avoid stress as much as possible but if we can just avoid damage that's probably the most important thing so which one's more accurate pick to the face kill easy kill okay great now he's in range or she's in range i mean i can clearly see that's a she <laughs> um okay 22 stress that's quite a lot of stress i'm not gonna lie uh let's go ahead and uh Reduce that somewhat. If I heal yourself, it's a good crit. Just don't bleed yourself at the same time, please, and thank you. Thank you for the resist. Very appreciated. Um, Bulwark of Faith. Mark yourself, buddy. Put our torchlight back up, which is, again, appreciated. Pick to the face. It's not as damaging as I, damaging as I thought it would be. Eldritch Push. I don't even care. Please don't resist it. She resisted it. That makes me a bit sad. Ren for the old gods. You're hitting the wrong lady. Stop it. Or you're trying to hit the wrong lady. You keep seemingly failing. Okay, mark this target. Because now he's within collect bounty range. Stun the lady in the back. Guarantees an easy kill next round. Collect bounty. Easiest kill of my life. Like, actually, piece of cake. Didn't even have to crit it. You're stunned, and you, my bounty hunter, got to go first. Just let him have it. 40 damage. Portraits. Uh, I know I need portraits. Um... I might get more portraits later. I want to make sure that I've got enough for, uh... Enough stuff to make it through these missions first, right? Like, I want to keep my supplies up and running when possible. Yo! Could we not? Alright, we can only stun this guy. He's got a 70% chance of just saying nope to that business. But we'll give it a try. He noped it. That's understandable. Uh, pull this guy forward. Maybe. It worked. Harmless poke. Puts this guy all the way in the back. Does not bother me one little bit. Rush shot. Again, doesn't do too much. Punishment. He can attack from anywhere? I dislike this. Alright. Now we're in the interesting situation. We can uppercut this guy back again. Which I find to be a hilarious option. So let's give it a whirl. <laughs> Get back there. Uh, we can bulwark of faith our own dude. Upping our torchlight. Marking him, so that way he's maybe the one that gets hit more often. Okay, now the fun time begins. Let's go ahead and mark this guy. Reducing his dodge to zero, which is kind of nice. Oh, baby, what do I do? We could maybe just get a kill on the Fusilier. Like, right away. Let's give it a try. Ah, rats, that was bad. Okay, if we lunge, we'll probably still get the kill on this guy. So, it's worth a shot. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Still got, getting the kill on that guy is nice. Uh, we're now in a situation where I want to start smacking you. So please get smacked. Okay. Rain of whips. Does not bother me. Although the bleed does. That's actually a decent amount of damage. Okay. People that can handle that level of bleed. Um, not our bounty hunter. Our crusader could probably stand to take it. So you know what? We're going to go ahead. Use a bandage now. Uh, collect the bounty on this guy before he goes too far away. 24 damage later. I'm pretty happy about that punishment. That's the right man to punish. He can take that punishment, baby. Okay. And while we're at it, you're all the way in the back. You know what? Let's flip and keep you there. Here, have a have a heal, buddy. Good resist on the bleed, by the way. Harmless poke. You, you, get, you just had to, didn't you? You great big jerk. You great big phony. Are you stun resistant? You're not stun resistant. So stun him good stuff now you're still stuck all the way in the back it's probably okay um if i throw a dagger at you that's a chance i kill you actually nice gotta love the extra damage versus marks people that's pretty sweet sometimes all right might as well just heal 
I guess? I mean, I don't see what else I could be doing. Here. Oh, I was gonna say don't go first, but you did. Collect the bounty on him. He's almost dead anyway. Alright, it is time for you. Caddy, smote his butt into the ground? Thank you! Good smoting. The smoting was delectable. Alright, do I need another 12 crests? No. One of the rewards for this thing is 12 crests. I can't handle that. Uh, what I can do... You know what? Fuck it. Use a bandage, get your full stack of busts right out of the gate, and continue. Alright, so at this stage, let's go left. I don't foresee any problems along this corridor, but I'm not sure if I scouted this corridor. Okay, here we go. That's why we've got a lot of food, and why we're probably going to be eating pretty, uh... Pretty much on the safe side. Oh my god, I don't have any more holy water, so this is not a thing. What does happen if I just interact with it? The urn has nothing but ashes inside. That's probably fine. We're already, like, walking out of this one pretty rich. Alright, scouting! Nice scout. Please go for two. It's just a one. I mean, we still got the trap here, which is nice. Who's more stressed out? You or you? You. Alright. Please work. There we go. A little bit of a stress relief. That's nice. I like that a lot. Um... Let's go until it gets a little bit too dark. Pop a torch. It's getting dark now, so, uh... We gotta... Okay, you know what? Let's plan ahead. How do we want to do this? Alright, so the next few corridors and room have no combat. Here's my plan. How about we risk going all the way through here in the dark? Even Shovel it out of the way. That's fine. All the way through here in the dark. Save our torches for when we get to about here. Camp. And then finish off the mission pretty much. Oh my god. We even got a free torch. Eh, pop it. Onyx is worth a decent amount. It's not worth three emeralds. But uh, it's worth a decent amount. Okay, what are the chances that anti-venom ends up being useful, huh? Eh? Let's get greedy. Let's get greedy. I like greed. Stashed heirlooms. How many more heirlooms do you want me to carry? Get rid of these things. As much as I want to bring back six crests, like, I got no room for it. So you know what? Screw it. We got the space. Let's pop a firewood. Uh, if I pop... The battle may yet be won. A half meal that's worth two. Doesn't heal any stress or damage. If I pop a full one, we're down to 12 food, but 12 food should get us through the rest of the mission, I think. Let's go ahead and pop a full meal. That'll give us a little bit of HP. Uh, which one of these avoids ambush? Snuff by Oh, do we have any diseases here that we can get rid of? You don't have any. Do you have one? You do not have one. I was going to say, that would be really nice to use a snuff box on uh, Sammy Boy, but uh, you know, we haven't bumped into anything. Scouting chance would be good. But we scouted quite a lot of our map already. Like, I'm not sure if a scouting chance is necessary these days. Um, do we have something that avoids nighttime ambush? I really don't see any, unfortunately. That is a little unfortunate. Huh. I can reduce this guy's stress. Give everybody else stress. How much stress does he have? A decent amount. Let's try this. Abandon hope. Uh, not ideal. But, you know what? It split the stress amongst the team. <laughs> Could be worse. Do you have something better for us? <gasps> oh, good. Yeah, might as well pop a zealous speech at this point. Uh, what else could we do, though? Like, the, the other things I'd like to do include just making sure our bounty hunter hits, like, a truck, so... Yeah, let's go ahead and do a... Zealous speech, there we go. Everybody's feeling a lot better all of a sudden. Uh, we've got enough for one of these two plus one other. You know what? I'm thinking we do night moves and we do this is how we do it. Also, if we want to like seriously kill any more big guys. You know what? Just in case, plan takedown. The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Well, you know what? 
Ambush? No ambush. Good times. All right, so productive camping phase. We learned a couple things about it. Oh, it begins. Sentimental gifts are hidden inside. Great. That's actually great. That gave us another onyx. They gave us some emeralds. Oh, now it's these jokers. Okay, no advance notice on who gets killed here, it seems. Um, there's no chance we kill the guy here first. So I think that we try to stun one of these jokers, avoid damage, and maybe get a chance to... Ah, uh, that's probably bad. Good dodge on the back two, though. Ran for the old gods. You're hitting the wrong man. Thank you. Okay. If we pull this guy to the front, or this lady to the close to the, closer to the front, we have a good chance of killing them. I'm just trying to think. Like, what's more important here? Who do we want to hit? Let's grab this guy. He can inflict horror if he's a. Uh, oh my god, that sucked. Um, he can inflict horror if uh, we let him stand around, whereas she just does bulk, uh, bursty kind of damage. So either one of those is bad. Finish him. Maybe get a kill? Nah, no kill, but it's very close. Alright, so this leaves you. You can smite this guy and just instantly murder him, or you can mark yourself and increase our torchlight. You know what? Smite him. Reduce the damage we're going to take. Be smart. Now, this brings us to this point. <laughs> this shitty fucking point. Um... You know what? Go for as much damage as possible. There you go, that's fine. Ran for the old gods. It's Again, it's on the right person as far as I'm concerned. That bleed damage is gonna hurt though. Lunge, get the kill on him. Please. Oh my... Yeah, we're so close! Accusation, that's stressful and bad. Okay, horror here is a problem. But, you know what? We're gonna have to make do. If we can get the pull on this guy, that should remove the corpses. There we go, so that puts everybody in range. Stressful incantation. You're stressing Caddy out, and I need you to stop. Alright, Caddy. Admittedly, this is a shitty situation. But if you stun her, that should stop... Oh. The resist. Stun her. The dodge. This lady. Okay, so Caddy is going to wake out probably very soon. I don't like that idea at all. But at least we're avoiding damage. Okay. Weird reconstruction. Heal him up. Don't bleed him. Thank you. So much... I understand there's a decent amount of blood and the horror is a problem. But, like... Chopper. Killer. Uh, she's unhittable. She, she is the dodgy lady. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> You're kidding! I actually find this... A little frustrating. Um, it took... She got, like, four... Extra ones off. Citrine, no. She got four off. He's going to wig out this round. Uh, where's our virtue ring? Here it is. So, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead. Remove that debuff. I'm going to ditch the holy water. In efforts to give the ring over here. And give the ring to Caddy. Caddy, hopefully, is virtuous. Let's find out. God damn it. Ah, <laughs> uh, we tried. We, we sacrificed some holy water. We made the right choice. We increased his virtue chance to pretty high. And then we got shat upon. It took one fight to stress this guy out to complete full. That's, that's really harsh. So, because he's super fearful, the stress is going to just continue. Oh, he might have a heart attack. Okay, we got to pull some men... We got to pull some people closer here. This is a bit much. Please, no. Like, we got to kill the guys in the back as much as possible. Tempting Goblet, you're hitting somebody who's not super high stress yet. I'll deal with it. Now. Best chance to get a kill is to collect bounty, so... Nice! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, up the torchlight a little bit. Give yourself some protection. Maybe mark yourself at the same time, which is a bit weird, but it should be okay. Bump of the night. Doesn't disturb me too much. It's a bit of damage. The minus seven dodge is a bit much, uh, if I'm being honest with you jokers, but don't worry about it too much. Maybe we get a kill. I'll risk it. 
<laughs> of course! <laughs> Um, if we Shadow Feed, we can stop this guy from bumping in the night again, and give me a dodge buff. So I'll give that a whirl. Tenting Goblet. Please dodge. I just gave you a dodge bonus, baby. Well, it's a bit of stress. It's a debuff as well, which feels bad. Let's pull him closer. Or you can just dodge it. That's cool, too. Don't, don't even worry about it. Good lord. Did he have to dodge it, though? Alright, well, our good luck at the beginning of this mission has turned incredibly sour. Thank you. It's not impossible to deal with, though. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They All right. Can be beaten. Eat some food. Rotate back to where you're supposed to be. Uh, this is an unlocked strong box. Open it up. Let's see what's inside. A fortune waiting to be spent. I don't need the citrine. Again, it's just one of those things. Was like, it's a five stack of citrine does very little for us. Um, if we left now, we'd still be okay. Oh my god, there's another fight. I'm actually tempted to double back burn to avoid that fight. But you know what? That's exactly what we're gonna fucking do. <laughs> to hell with doing more fights than I have to in this particular round of this video game. Jeez, oh man. Like that, those those last two fights have single-handedly turned this from an easy breezy cover girl kind of mission. Like, oh, we don't know, we're not gonna have to worry too much. We're perfect. Like we're pretty much exactly the way we left ourselves. You know, leaving the manor. Now Cadius is wigged out. We got our bounty hunter about ready to call it quits. Like, it's gone pretty sour pretty fast. Can't say I'm pleased about that. All right, well. We got at least a couple more fights left to go. I appreciate the torch. Take them both. Um, yeah, let's just pop the torch. Doesn't really matter either way. Hunger, that's exactly why we have our food. All right. What's left? Do we still have our buffs for battles? We do still have our buffs for battles. Like, this is one of those things where I really want to continue. And outside of our stress on our friend here being bad, there's no reason not to at least continue one more room. So let's give it one more room, then we'll camp. Okay, there's a curio up ahead. That's not the right curio. No! Bandage? No bandages? Shared sacred loot? Really? There was loot inside instead? What the fuck is this? Otherworldly corruption. <laughs> That's never happened! <laughs> no one opens the Iron Maiden and survives? Simno, what the fuck are you doing? You know, that wasn't supposed to happen. I mean, I'm happy it did. But, uh, what? <laughs> Alright, let's do this fight. Okay, this is why we buffed our stuff. This is why we buffed our stuff. Alright, lunge. We can maybe get a kill on this guy. I think that's still our best bet, sadly. Nice! That's gonna reduce the damage we take by a lot. Now, this guy's gonna be a problem. Thank you for going first. Mark him up, baby. That mark, the dodge reduction, all huge. Collect the bounty. That's it? That hurts. Why do I have to? He passed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay, tempting goblet. What else is flipping new? And then this guy's turn. Crushing blow. It's it's not so crushing, really. It'd be nicer if I could have, you know, not had to deal with the whole uh, crushing part. But it's it's gonna happen. Uh, click bounty again. Still hitting just for thirteen. It really feels low end. What's a stun resist? It's relatively high. Um. We could try to pick to the face of the guy in the back, but it's probably best to try for a stun. So let's go for that. The stun is nice and very healthy to have here. I could go for some heals on, uh, like, everybody here, so let's just make that happen. The heal for four is not what I was looking for, but it, it'll do. Good stun resist. Uh, good, I mean, good stun turn off Enos. Uh, Bulwark here would be nice. Just keep our torch light up. Keep, give him a lot of prot. Um, do I want to try stunning again? The answer here is no. If I throw a dagger, it should get him almost within kill range. What's more damage here? 
they're the same amount of damage. So it does more chance of critting. Throwing dagger does. So here goes. And no crit, but down to 12. So bounty hunter might be able to do something. Tempting goblet. I mean, like you gotta like you gotta hand it to this guy. The tempting goblet plays are, are up there. Okay, collect the bounty. That's what I'm talking about. That guy barely had a chance. Okay. Now all you can do is knife in the dark, and I don't care a thing about you. Just just straight up, I'm gonna stun you. So that way I've got a better chance at healing this round. <laughs> Oh good, for three. That was perfect. <laughs> Collect the bounty. Good work. Alright. Take all. I cannot take a bunch of gold with me. Well, that's maybe a problem. What's this guy's debuff? Must three crit for one round, must for one more round. Um the busts, as much as I want them, are not my primary concern. And I kinda still want the skeleton key. Although there's like no chances of really having a uh, secret room left or a lot. You know what? Screw it. Skeleton key can go bye bye. Go go away now. Um, grab this. Put it in there. Close camp. All right. Huddled together. We're a little hurt, so this is gonna help. Rats in a maze. We got a decent amount to do here in terms of our stress. Zealous speech would help again. I cannot, the light does not, denies a disquieted soul. Oh, that's a rough, rough problem. Alright, Gallows humor can make things a lot worse than better. But we need to at least try a, de like a, a stress relief, so let's give it a whirl. Uh, it sort of worked. Um, does somebody have like a pep talk or something? Or Encourage. So either encourage or we do this is how we do it. You know what? This is how we do it. Give a bounty hunter a better chance to just do damage. And no ambush. Very lucky. Okay. So, you know. Oh my god, we already have a stack of, of emeralds. Like, if I need to, I'll get rid of the stack of emeralds. But, like, you know, not my primary concern here. Um, How do we want to do this? If we go around and double back the other way, that might be safer. I'm like actually unsure. One, two, three, probably four. All right, let's give this a try. Stack of books. Who's looking really good in terms of uh, their stuff? You know what? Caddy, you're already scared. Read a book. <laughs> Shit. That didn't help at all. Good news is you can't uh, you can't wig out twice at 100, so you can't be fearful and something else. All right. Oh, you're not good. If I remember correctly, gargoyles are high prot and just generally a pain in the ass. Um, yeah, we have a chance. At getting close to killing him before he does anything. Yeah! <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Alright, debuff a target. Now our bounty hunter. Our bounty hunter is going to collect so many bounties. There we go. Easy kill. I like, easiest fight of my life. Why, why am I even worried about this flipping easy game? Um... As, I, yeah, I realize that overconfidence is a slow and insidious killer. I'm just having a laugh game. Jesus, what a killjoy. We already have, like, four stacks of gold. I really don't think we need more. But, um... What are the chances of us getting... More emeralds? Hi, honestly. You know what? I'll gamble on it. I'll gamble on uh, getting more emeralds. Oh, goody. Gumdrops. Okay, so they're surprised. We want to go after the guy in the back first. Um, there is a chance. It's not high, but there's a chance. We also want to make sure that, oh, come on. So what do we want to deal with right now? Like, we can take more damage than we can take stress damage. I, like, I cannot afford Caddy to take too much here. So you know what? Go after the stress lady in the back as hard as possible. To a certain degree, you can't do any more than what you've already done. 
So go after uh, other stuff. There's a chance we get a crit and kill someone. Yeah! There is a chance, he says. A chance, says I. Alright, now just... And then... Murder her face. Just murder it. Which one has a higher chance of hitting? Stunning blow? Go for it. <laughs> I'll take it. Flurry of Claws. If I remember correctly, that's pretty high on the move debuff. Interesting. Rent for the old gods. Dodged. Caddius, you might be fearful, but you're a dude. Through and through. The, the bleed here is not super hot, unfortunately. Lash the tail. That's a stun and a move back, if I remember correctly. He resisted both. Very lucky. Alright, we need to start healing. Oh, nice! Uh, we need to start healing uh, Katia here a little bit, just to make sure that he uh, gets through all this. Um, if we stun this guy, he can have an, uh, uh, like a very high chance of dying, so I'll give it a whirl. He resisted it. What a time to be alive. Okay, you know what, let's try that one more time. Resist this! Uh, uh, I mean, like, okay, but that's a little bit a little rude, if I'm being honest with you. Oh, good lord. Well, that, that round did not go so well. Um, 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 uh, er, clear the corpses, I guess. Pull them right up. Lunch? Maybe we can lunge them and kill them. It's not a high chance, but if we can do that... Uh, you know what? Be smart. Be smart. Get the, get the guaranteed kill. Get the guaranteed kill. This guy doesn't do a ton of damage. He's just annoying. So now that he's by himself, it's not a big deal. Protect me. Okay, so he stressed everyone out. I I mean, like, okay? What are you, anyway? You're a beast. I have nothing that protects against beasts. But I got something that does a uh, mark for death. This is going to be good. So the minus 13 prod here is pretty huge. Because it allows me to do this. For a lot more than I was going to initially be doing. He's only got 3 HP left. Um, you know what? Heal up Caddy again. Ah, uh, for two! Yeah, good crit. And you bled him. Jesus Christ. Just kill him. Kill him before I kill myself. This is so dumb. Alright, so it's another thousand gold. Uh, what are the chances of us getting, like, another, let's see, 750? Let's just round that up to a nice even 800, shall we? Uh, I can stack it up to five... If I get two of those, it's 1,600. If I get, what are the chances of us getting three emeralds? Like, honestly speaking. Let's... Let's try. Let's let's be smart. Go for the gold. Um, the bleed here is an issue. Because we don't have any more bandages. Um, let's use some additional herbs. Get rid of that stuff. Sarcophagus. ay 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 Slightly ajar. Take a shovel to it. That had no effect. Uh, okay, that's fair. That's fair, that's fair. Um, unfortunately we don't have... Advantages. What about medicinal herbs? Ah. I, I presume a torch will do nothing. So let's avoid opening the sarcophagus, because those can have a bad side. Okay, you know what? How many rooms have we not explored? Just the one, right? If we go left and then up, we've done this. And then we can choose to go down later. Alright, your chances is 90, right? It's pretty high. So that's going to reduce your stress by a little bit. It's helpful. That's not the end of the mission, as I expected. If we go up, or if we go down, either way should complete the mission. Do I want to do combat? We've got the HP, and we're not all super stressed. Hmm. I'm gonna opt out of it. Just this once. Okay, disarm. I'm gonna opt out of it because I'm a lazy person who is, uh, I mean, like, look at this. We're gonna get 11,000 just for finishing the thing, and then look at our freaking fat stacks like <laughs> I don't know how much more I can fill this with before you know things get problematic we've got one fight here it's a battle room with treasure though you know what let's not wuss out let's not wuss out let's go let's hopefully not run into the collector in the meantime 
<laughs> that would be bad. Okay, it's a crate. Careful now. That's fine. Stashed heirlooms. Bring everything. Alright. Pop the torches. We've got all the torches. We are so ready to kick some butts. Look at this. Scouting. Monster surprise is a plus three. These guys are big. And easy to kill. Alright, so if we bring this guy forward. He's going to have to do a rush shot. Which is going to suck for him. Or we could just lunge and kill him. Yee! <laughs> yeah! Good plan. Alright, um, let's mark this man for death. Reduces his prod as well. Uh, and let's just start hacking at him. Or, you know what? Let's just go ahead and use Bulwark of Faith. Like, increase our torchlight. Give us a bit of prod. Rain of Whips is not good. Oh, the quad dodge! Light, protect me! Don't... Stop! You're stressing everybody out, Caddy. Come on. Harmless poke. Look at that, moving yourself forward. Give yourself plus two speed while you're at it, big jerk. Stun? Stun! Um... Vulnerability Hex. To guarantee that he's within Collect Bounty range. Oh, What's better? Collect Bounty's better. Ah, I just didn't kill him anyway. Lazy. Lazy bounty hunter. Punishment. No. Ah, good dodge. This man misses everything. Um, he's got one HP. Stunning blow. <laughs> it's got a higher chance of hitting. Alright. Um. Uh, I guess we'll just... Just crit him for 24. That was easy. Demon's pull. Get rid of all the corpses. Bring him back into range. He's still marked, so we can throw daggers at him. <laughs> oh my goodness! What a good time! Alright, do we have any other supplies we don't need right now? Yeah, we got a few. One, two, three, four. Grab that. Uh, I said four, thank you. Grab that. Open the strong box. It's trapped! <laughs> Whatever, Trevor. Get out of here. Easiest time of my life! Look at that! Look at that! We just made 30 flippin' 5,000 grand! That's huge! We also got like a bajillion crests. Like, grand total, 30 of them. I think we're good on that front. So that was financially a good move. We got two level 4 veterans and we got a fast healer now. Guys, that was a fantastic run! That was so good. Alright, so how are we doing? Historically, seasonal labors. I get a free building upgrade. Holy shit. We're going to need to think about this one for a second. So we got two level four veterans. We're going to want to save those for bosses at this point. There's something terrible here. I can feel it. That's fine. Do you only meditate? We'll only pray for stress relief. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I don't want to upgrade it yet. That's fine. Right, you're prayer for free. There we go. Enjoy. Um, what's an expensive building upgrade that I want to get up and running? It was in my blacksmith, if I, my guild, if I remember correctly. I wanted to get more instruction mastery to get skills up to level 3. Uh, that required a lot of portraits, if I remember correctly. So that's what we're going to do. Guild gets a free upgrade. Strict regimen is paramount if one is to master the brutal arithmetic of combat. Yeah, that's true. It's not wrong. Which then brings us to our stagecoach. We can actually get level 1 heroes now. What a time to be alive. It's easy to do. Easy upgrade. Heroes can be found even here. In the mud and rain. rain. Yeah. Whatever. Okay. So we've used up our upgrade. We've got... The only person who's really stressed out from that mission... Currently you're snoozing it off. So that's pretty sweet. We got 27 crests, a bunch of busts, some other things. What's going on over here? Do we have any good, uh... Any good things in here? Ooh... Yeah, that's really good. Bring the hate... Buy that business immediately. Um... And since we have so much money, I managed to get, like, a... Windfall in terms of resources. This would be a good time for me to just sit back, think, and get stuff sorted. Like, there's a lot going on here. 
Our stagecoach doesn't have very much in it. Not gonna lie to you. This the uh, I I'm not thrilled about either one of these ideas right out of the gate yet. But um you know, that just means that's one extra slot on our uh roster that we can fill up next time. Things are looking good. The estate's going well. We managed to make a huge, huge, huge <laughs> boost of uh, of gold to our estate. We're looking fine. I'm going to go ahead, take a minute to do what I need to do, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed yourselves. Or you folks enjoyed yourselves. If you did, be sure to let me know. Hit the like button down below. I'll see you guys in the next video.